the basement studio here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It's here! My name is Jake, and I am here with my beautiful wife, Lisa. Oh, that's me. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes! My producer extraordinaire, Davis. I got my red pants on. Wink. And together we look at paranormal <laughs> locations from the spooky side. To the historical teddy bats. Ooh. Jesus. <laughs> so join us tonight as we make fun of each other, get creeped out, and maybe learn a thing or two on this week's edition of the possibly paranormal podcast. Man, you guys are sassy. We are today. getting you Jeez, good and it's working really, <laughs> really well. Holy crap. <laughs> but you know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of how talented, Lisa, you and I are. You know? Yes. Yes, we yeah. are incredibly we, talented. We are. You and I. It reminds me of the movie coming out or Thanks, would have guys. came out by now called The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. Oh, I want to um, see that. I so want to see that so bad. So, Jake, your birthday is the weekend before we do this. So, I was thinking maybe we like we're gonna hit up whiskey bars, but if we wanted to, we could just go to that movie <laughs> right afterwards, oh check it out. We'll figure it out. But I wanted to talk about that movie a little bit and Nicolas Cage's career because if there is anything that is paranormal in this world, it is, it is his Nicolas success. Cage's his career. Okay. I, I'm sorry, people <laughs> give him so much crap. This movie just proves to me he gets the bit. He gets what he's he doing. He gets it. Right? I, he's like, oh, this is me. I'm going to make a freaking movie that's mm-hmm, getting 100% mm-hmm. on Rotten Tomatoes and the critics it's will love well. it. Yeah. I just make fun of how weird he is. That's what it looks like. It's all he's doing. It looks great. It's all he's doing. I saw, I just saw everything I'm everywhere all at once. I'm a Nick Cage fan. I've, I've, and I'm like, I oh, want to see that it? one next. So they're going to be two very different, different movies. Oh, wow. I'll say that right now, but I'm excited about it. Lisa, what's your favorite Nicolas Cage movie? Um... So I I know I've seen Nicolas Cage movies. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! I would have to uh, probably. Uh, oh, he was in that like fast one with the cars gone in sixty seconds. Yes. Okay. Bangkok Dangerous. Oh no. Con Air. No, see that's my. Like, <laughs> I have different ones nope. for different feelings. If I want serious, uh, I love uh, Match with Stick Men. Okay. I don't know that one. That's uh, him and Sam Rockwell as like OCD I like Sam Rockwell. fraud guys. Okay. Oh, so good. Okay. Uh, then my comedy version, or not the comedy, the action version of Nick Cage, it's got to be Con Air. Okay. I love National Treasure. And my weird. <laughs> you drunk? You okay? I, have I, I really had to think you guys, very hard of national other National Treasure. Nick, 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 <laughs> it's like a national treasure, I mean, guys. You're saying Con Davis, Air. Davis, what did you put in my tea? Oh. Uh, Is it just. It's crack cocaine. Um, <laughs> um, my, okay, my favorite weird one, because he he is known for doing the weird little B-movie kind of Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bangkok Dangerous. Uh, if I, and this is going to go with our scary show, Wally's Wonderland. Oh, why is that sound not it's, scary, but is very scary? It's, where he, is that the one where he, like everything he, comes to life? He <gasps> plays a guy who does not, he doesn't say a word. The entire what? thing. Right. He goes in as like someone's cleaning up this like circus pizza or circus circus or uh, like a Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese thing. where oh, they have the animatronic. Pizza, uh, yeah, it's, it's like, like a, Friday. Okay. It, it, I think it was a Five script Nights for Five Nights. It was a script for Five <gasps> Nights at Freddy's that they just made into a movie ah! for him. And these things come out. It is so. I guess the gory, killing, scary thing, but done so campy, it's funny and okay. fun. Okay. My God. Can't stand I, no. Oh, so oh no, you would freaking. So I'm, I'm t- I guarantee you, you would actually really be entertained by it. The scarier Isn't than Lisa. Isn't there another one where he plays a wizard? Yeah, it's a Disney Harry movie. Potter. No, it's a Disney one. That's a Sorcerer's Apprentice. Sorcerer's there Apprentice. There we are. I liked that one. Okay, okay. It, was, it was good. Yeah, I like my favorite one. Neither of you have mentioned yet. Is raising Arizona. Oh my oh, god. Well, wow. yeah. The Cohen Brother one. classic. Yep. But as weird as it is, I didn't I guess I don't associate that one so much with Nick Cage as I do with Cohen Brothers. Cohen Brothers. It's it's less Nick Cage driven, more Cohen Brothers story driven, but it's still his movie. Like mm-hmm. he's still in it. Yeah. So, but I yeah. think that no. that also kind of attests to like what the Cohen Brothers are, mm-hmm. where anybody who does work with them, they have to recognize no, it's it's done the way that they want it done. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like there's a reason that the words are used. Yep. In the way that they are used. So, for so the longest time too. Sorry to interrupt yeah. you, but um, the I hated Nicolas Cage. I hated him. I oh, hated him. I hated him. And until so you get the until you get what's going. On. So I watched Moonstruck, which is Hannah's favorite video. Hi Hannah. Um, yeah, hey. and we don't have her camera hey, on today. I brought the joke back. Um, it's him and Cher are the two yeah. main characters. Oh yeah, in it. that's right. Didn't she get so nominated? She for did. That? I think she won for it. Yeah, that for was sure. Her, Olympia that was her Dukakis. Aca- that, was her, won. Uh, that was her. That uh, was her Academy Award. Academy Award. No one can say that he's not a good actor. But it's so I I hated him in it too. But I was like, but Hannah loves him. So I was like, I watched like why is I watched a few videos on why is Nick Cage good, and they like 
brought it home for me. He's still paranormal as shit, in my opinion, yeah. and weird as shit. Well, you watch like Matchstick Man guy? and uh, God, what's the Mandy? Uh, pig. pig, pig. No, <laughs> he's supposed to. He's supposed to be fantastic in that one. And there's another yep. uh, leaving Las Vegas. I mean, Christ. I don't yeah. know. In terms of like paranormal and like, it doesn't matter whether or not you actually think he is or is not good. Nobody can be Nick Cage. No. And if you want somebody in a movie that is Nick Cage, well, guess what? You're gonna have to hire Nick Cage. You're gonna I have mean, to hire. All right. So you would have to. So but welcome it's like, to it's like Nick saying Cage. That you want somebody fan, like Christopher <laughs> Walken. It's just seriously. Not yeah, you same. can't have Christopher. Walken I always either. have no. this. I always have this thought of somebody's new to our show and they turn this on. I go what. What is happening? They're learning all about us. I know. They're loving it. And not to mention, the dude bought a mansion he, that we have discussed on this show, the, the Lollery Lollary Mansion. Oh, he did. Remember? Yeah, that's right. And that's and he what he, had, he, he it got taken away during his bankruptcy. And you want to know what else had to be sold he at never one even point? stayed a night there. No. You want to know what else had to be sold at one point in subtime? <laughs> Something that was probably sold at the Dead Fungman Village. Today's episode. <laughs> oh, you wow, don't know. That, Ride that the way. That was a trip <laughs> of a segue. <laughs> So Holy Lord. we are still on Haunted China. This was our Patreon poll episode. They got to choose between four places. Hey, Patreons. Good job. Good choice. Exactly. And they chose Dead Fungman uh, Village, excuse me. And then they get to choose one more. And I'm going to let it be known right now. They're going to get to choose between four or five. I don't remember. But uh, popular Chinese cryptids for our last episode <gasps> of this one in oh. May. But I love I, a good cryptid. I do want to hit us up with, we are going to be hitting our one year's worth of episodes halfway through Haunted China. No way. And I actually ran out of kind of some really good places that are fitting the theme of how we're doing China this time. There are a ton of other ones, and I kind of wanted to keep us in like a similar realm. So we're going to break from Haunted China on that one. I'm just going to let everybody know. And we're going to do- Oh my God, we're coming up on a year? We're going to do Danvers, the lost episode as our one year our one. Our tryout? Our tryout episode, we're going to redo it and try and do I it. Don't Know everybody. If oh my god, I gotta see if I hear my face right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just went, oh shit, I gotta find oh, those notes. Oh, shit. So I'm hitting you guys with that on air. You didn't know about it beforehand, but that's what I'm gonna have us do. And with I that, our Google know. Drive is gone my from Google then. Gone. I know, and that's why I feel Oh so no! <laughs> it's okay. I think I still have all the books. But I, I never recorded a commercial way, for that one, so I'll have to Nobody do that. knows but, about this. Hey, people, we did a It's the last secret, episode. It's a lost episode. I have it if sure. you guys want it. So I don't think I yourselves. want to. <laughs> it was very bad. <laughs> but it was definitely our. That was a. Do you think that we could sit here and talk mm-hmm. for an hour without was that our just f- bitching? Was our first attempt? That was our first was attempt. Our first we one. definitely messed up a few times and had to restart, but it was our, still our first attempt. It was yeah, on the same day. And then Deadwood, which is our first episode. First episode. We actually did. That was our next show. Mm-hmm. That we tried, we because we, and we, we liked it enough where we're like, cool. That's the one where we're going to be doing it for. That's our in the first episode we did. Danvers, the Danvers was definitely was, a oh, we tried. We I still have that one under our old name too. Oh, which it, we, it, I feel like we shouldn't necessarily like break all the secrets right okay. now. We'll save it. For we'll save the for our episode. old name. People who have listened will know what our old ep- name is. Yes. But- well, you'll get to hear maybe, that on episode 52, which maybe is one like year's worth of episodes. Trivia oh. for a Patreon. Ooh. To win like a exactly. free, some sticker or something. So, but anyway, I, I digress a lot from Dead Fungman Village, which is where <laughs> yeah. we are right now. And next week, we're going to be in China. And the week after that, I believe. But then the one before the Patreon poll, I think, is going to be our one-year episode. Oh, we got to break for a while. I think I could have the order a little bit off on that one, but we will still We'll find out. This there. is so, so cool. Okay. But I anyway, Lisa, hit us up metal. with that history. All right. I can't well, believe Lisa's been with me for another year that was a self burn yeah okay nice job she's awesome i'm okay at best i Aww. i'm not gonna disagree <laughs> <laughs> you do know that he didn't even pick up on the first like thing that you were saying about how you and i were the talented I, he said oh no i it. did <laughs> oh you did? did oh okay i cried inside still yep it hurt oh. it hurt where it counts right right around the everybody area. jake's address is so you can send him some love letters Please or i i live there too you do yeah <laughs> oh shit <laughs> so does Riker. <laughs> our, our dog <laughs> So uh, dead, be- dead, dead, dead uh, Fungman Village. I digress a lot today. My bad. No, you're good, man. You're good. It. Okay. So, Kai, you touched your mic. Yes, I did. That was on a movement purpose. one. That was a movement one. We're okay. I touched my mic knowingly. Now you're gripping it weird. Does it scare you? Um, oh, let's keep going. Yeah. So, 
if you um, by chance are like a so-called like dark tourist or someone that likes to travel to the weird and unusual places, <laughs> Hi, my you name is might have already heard about Fengmen Village or the village which is dubbed as China's number one ghost village. Now, are we oh. like saying like it's Fun Man or how does it spell? I, I, it looks to say that would be Fungman. Would Fung be, I know. Yeah, I, whenever I, pretty was, right whenever I would it. say, I'm like, this just sounds like it's a carnival area. Come to the Fun Man. Fun, yeah, a little bit. Well, there's or a, it's, mushroomy it's, it's F, a little bit. What is it? F-E-N-G, which is Fung. F-E-N-G, which is Fung, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Hey, I wasn't wrong. No, you weren't. I was just He was commenting on the name. You're good. I know. <laughs> okay, so it's on the outskirts of um, who? Okay, King Young City. Cool. Um, take it. and there's this. So it's what it is is it's a small village, very very small, at the foot of the southern side of Taihung Mountain. Okay? okay. So it's it's basically built onto the hillside, and it is surrounded by a mountain. So it's like a little dip in the mountain, and. That's where it is. And it's just like a, to a con- little river by it. Too. Like it's like, yep. It is in case. To confirm for all of us, this is not Mount Tai from last week. No, nope. this is no. Totally that was Tai Shun. And this was Tai Hun. This is Tai Hun. Okay, cool. Um, so it's there's this little river exactly, Jake. There's this little river that's in front, and there's houses built like basically to the right side of the river. So if you're coming up to it. Okay. On the right side, mm-hmm. you're gonna see a bunch. Or you're gonna see a few little houses. Um, there's 39 buildings, 200 houses, and there is a tree that's there that's about 500 years old, Whoa. and that might be the like only living thing there. That's most older than me. Possibly. Yeah. Um, no, definitely. <laughs> literally, this is a place you'd only find by accident. No one. It, it's going to be hard. No to, one's to, usually going to. There's go no major for it. road to it or anything. No, I'm going to get into oh, that. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm You're so sorry. Ah, I'm getting so good at predicting I'm where you want to go. The script. Okay, so this place though is entirely empty. <gasps> so it's, except for a tree. Except for this like 500 year old tree, <laughs> yep. basically. Um, it is completely getting overtaken by vegetation. Um, there's there's no one there to take care of it at all. So the structures are becoming more and more uh, dilapidated, basically, and it's adding to this ghostly allure, basically, of this village. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So yeah, there's. I mean, you have to. There's no road really that's leading you there. If you're gonna go there, you're you you're going to this place on purpose and you're taking you're a hiking, long hike to get there. Oh, it's like El Dorado. Kind of. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um so I'm on the road. <laughs> so yeah, it's a ghost it's a ghostly village. Um it, it's a ghost village in the way that we would call something a ghost town or a ghost city here in America where it just means that it's empty. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's for other reasons too. Lisa. Oh. Right, but possibly so, maybe. Um, yeah, good answer to that one. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so like that's why when I was reading about this, I was having a hard time understanding why it was necessarily in the paranormal type of section because I was like, hey, ghost ghost town, ghost village, we have them everywhere here in the U.S., People especially in like Nevada, especially yeah. in Nevada and stuff like that, where North it was like Dakota has a bunch of yeah. yeah. Th- there were these small settlements and everything like that, and then people picked up and left when there was nothing left. Got so head west, and they have, and we just have these everywhere. So it was like ghost village just meant that no one was there. Okay, okay. Well, it's a little different in China because oh. their words don't really translate that way. Yeah, ghost doesn't mean abandoned. Like okay. Ghost, like ghosted, being ghosted, you know, where it's like you just get she doesn't text me back. There. Exactly. Yep. So we have that understanding of that other possible meaning of that word. Okay. That's not how China uses that word. Okay. Okay. Talk with me more. So say more words. Out when of we're your calling mouth. it a ghost village, it's because there's possibly a paranormal type of connection to it, and so that's how it gets the name of ghost village. Boom. Okay. Gotcha. Nice. So it's slightly Haunted. different. So can I ask then? So Lisa, our historian, just said it's haunted. No, okay, Lisa, it, right? Lisa, historian, has said why it's called a ghost. But village. then I want to ask the question because I found it in a few different places as dead Fungman Village. Right. And you're, I'm again, sure you're going to get into it. It's okay. Beca- so again, it's because of the way that the words translate. Um. So for them, uh, dead might actually be the closest way that we understand the word to having a ghost okay, town okay where it just means that no one's there so the dead village oh. is the village doesn't have any life in it okay. nobody's there it's not about it being like dead men everywhere and everything <laughs> like that the dead. it's more like 
there's just no life there. There's no one living there. That's all that means. Oh. So it's just kind of a flip on it. Okay. Okay. I didn't do it. Yes. I like it. All right. So why is there no one there? Because it's dead. Because it's a dead village. So there there were rumors um, that, honestly, they're meant more for novels and legends. It's depicting like men and women that are just not being able to have children or anything like that. And if they do try to have children, then it's this big catastrophe. It comes upon the household <gasps> and everything like that. So there's no. these like rumors and ideas. Yep. But reality. Which is poo-poo on my first sentence. Okay. Um, <laughs> 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 well, so there's all these rumors as to why it's empty. However, um. Ultimately, really what it came down to, it's it, there's three primary reasons. Okay. It's haunted. The children in schooling. Again, <gasps> think of where this is located. Children of the Corn. It's such a small village, and mm-hmm. it's so fucking remote. Yeah. Like, it's it's so hard to get to and to get out of. So it Easy was fix. really hard for Sell them the to- <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was really hard for them to get enough funds to attract <laughs> teachers to come to the village directly. So they just, I mean, no teacher wanted to go live there and work there because it wasn't fruitful enough. Yeah, I mean. So you yeah. had no schools there. So the only way that the kids could actually get to school was to go to another village to go mm. to a school. But that uh, that included a uh, four kilometer walk up a hillside road. That is like how many up a miles? mountain road. That's um, it's just short of three. It's short of three. It's like two and a half, like two point one, two okay. point two. A okay. lot for a little kid. Yeah, no, I know. I just wanted but to both make you ways. do math. Yeah, just it's, like make two, you do it's like two point two uphill miles. both ways for them. Yeah, basically it was mountain roads. Um, so yeah, um, they so getting to school it was. I mean, uh, that one sucked. So there's that reason. Um, another reason: drinking water and food. There is a river, yes, but it was kind of starting to drive up and it would kind of like, it would, you know, ebb and flow. Okay. And it was the primary source for the water that was used for the households and for irrigation. And when the water level would go down, that would mean that the homegrown food, it was, you know, it was very difficult to guarantee. Mm -hmm. Um, And this resulted in the needing of constant state relief programs. So the state had to constantly... Get food and water and everything out to them, uh, subsidiaries and everything. It, like it was becoming a financial burden, basically, on the state. On top of that, these people probably aren't living the greatest of lives with that. Right. So I'm saying that because angle. Keep going. There's part of it. <laughs> um. So they they I guess. Uh, <laughs> Unfortunately, though, with the state relief programs, it really didn't help that much in improving the life in the village. Mm-hmm. It just really mm-hmm. didn't. And so... More of a Band-Aid at that point. It was definitely yeah. kind of a Band-Aid because then the third primary reason is transportation seriously sucked. It was hard as hell to get to this village. It was a it was like just a few really, really, really small, not well-kept roads. Um, they were very dangerous, very e- inconvenient. Uh, it's located in the depths of the mountains. And so daily necessities and agricultural products, things like that. They were so hard to get to these people and for them to also be able to sell out of the village as well. So to give me a little bit of like a time frame in my yep. head, were cars around or is this pre-cars? Yeah. Okay, no, cars so even with, around. Cars, even with cars, it's still good. Even with cars around. Yeah, it was, yeah, I'm sure you can get to it. There was, it was not very... It wasn't very long ago. Oh, uh, but, okay. So, yeah, because of this, the state started... I read started, the script. You did read I, the script. There's no script, you guys. So, uh, no because of this, that. the state started forcing the evacuation of the village, where basically it was just like, nope, when you're done, move out. Mm-hmm. Um, And this started in uh, 1981. Whoa! Yeah, so 1981, they started... It was year, like though. everybody... Nobody kept moving in, and it was just like nobody was allowed to move there. Okay. Everybody was allowed to move out so, so then family moving started out. moving out they just kept moving out oh. one after another everyone kept moving out one. no i know I right i bet there was well the last person it. finally left in 2007 so Whoa. it took a while for the relocation that's to a actually total happen. of 26 you, years so hate, really what it was is you, you know it was the yeah. it was the kid or the family where they were like i just we're just not ready to go ahead and leave here we've lived here our whole lives and we'll just we'll just wait to yeah die like no way they have kids that need schooling or anything like that because exactly. they wouldn't have been able to yeah, yeah. okay okay yeah, so it was like huh. they didn't have anything necessarily to have to leave for. Um, but eventually, yeah, 2007, that's when it was completed. So in 2008... A year later. <laughs> this is this was actually um, one of my favorite ways that this one was written. 
there's some outdoor sports enthusiasts, a.k.a. very overzealous hikers. Okay. Um, or and people like us that would want to go find this place. Like you, you would two. never want to take this walk. I don't know. I've lost a lot of weight. There we go. Okay. I. You know what? Bright side. And you could lose we'll more. We'll try. We'll find. Yeah, Take you would lose idea. at least like 30 pounds just trying to get to <laughs> this If much. anyone wants me to just wander in the Chinese wilderness, I thought it would be her. <laughs> so uh, there was a group. <laughs> Good answer. Good Basically, answer. Basically, there was a group that decided that they were going to, that they wanted to go ahead and or they, they'd found maps um of this little village and it was like in this hiking area so they decided to go ahead oh, and just go for it okay and then when they get there they start calling it a ghost village okay right because yep. no one is there yeah so That's online freaky, is basically this whole um the legend of this place starts really becoming a thing online okay it was because of their blogs and yeah stuff like oh that. yeah i'm sure so then Everyone's got an That's idea. That's what starts attracting yeah. people's attention to it. Okay. So if you were to try to talk to like any villages around it, potentially, none of them really have a lot of internet anyway. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so most of them are going to be like, Ghost Village? I don't know what you're talking about. Like They, they have no <gasps> idea because it's always been the Fungman Village. There? Yeah. Well, they just don't know it. Okay. So they don't know it like that. Yeah. It's online community that knows it as oh. the Dead Village or Fungman Village. I kind of like Fungman this Ghost one's Village. almost like alluding to people around it. And it it's is. more just like it's become its own thing. It oh, is. That's it became its totally own different. thing then online. And Very then, cool. Like I said, dark tourists who would actually try to go to it and everything and try to get there and do all their and, pictures and, and touring and everything like that. So there's, okay again, no one living there. There's no actual attractions or anything. There's no place for you. Except to stay, tree. except for the tree that's yep. 500 years old. Oh, I'm um, in. But there's no place for <laughs> you to stay. Uh, just a couple of interesting things I would say to note about the village is it was really heavily ste- um, steeped in um, feng shui. Okay. If that's the primary guiding principle. We talked principle. about that as part of Taoism. Yes. Yep. Okay. Well, that's the primary guiding principle, basically, of the population there. Okay. Um, And so there was some interesting customs mm-hmm. that m- many of us would not necessarily be uh, in our western world would not necessarily be familiar with. Yep. Um and one of them is uh it's some interesting burial customs. So one of them is uh the elderly in the household, they would actually purchase their own coffins while they are at home. No, no thank you. Because they're like, "Hey, there's an angle right there." I nope. I'm I'm getting up there. I'm just going to go ahead and get this and we're going to set this over here and we're going to be ready. <laughs> just a reminder. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I'm setting my laundry basket out to remind me to do laundry. Here's my coffin to remind me. Keep going. Is that how you feel about laundry? Sure. (laughs) Okay. So did they test the size? That's my question. Like, okay, uh, do I fit in here? I know, right? Should I I cross my arms? Do I not want to cross my arms? Do I look too much like a pharaoh when I do that? Or do I? (laughs) Is there Um, enough room for the pets as well? Oh no! (laughs) Don't bring it with you. Um. So, you know, usually in Western oh. society, it, you get buried very, very, very quickly after yeah. death, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's not necessarily always the case mm-hmm. with them mm-hmm. because you would, for I mean, you would lie in your coffins for a period of time, but the feng shui master would have to come and calculate like a suitable date for the official burial. Oh. So you, that's why it was, that's why your coffin was set up at home. Okay. So hey, great! You died. We got a place for you. you go ahead and hang out <laughs> here. Chill there for a you little while. Out. You're gonna chill out there for a little bit. We're gonna yep. go ahead and mourn you and have our visitations and everything while this is going on. And okay. then when the feng shui master says that it's okay, we're gonna go ahead and then put you in the ground. Yep. Okay. So, but in, in this area, that also meant that when someone would pass, the the burial would end up occurring in say like an open space near their home. Mm-hmm. So hey, great, we got a we got a blank spot back here in the backyard, mm-hmm. type of a thing. So that's where they would end up getting buried. Well, this is still a very 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 old village. Yeah. And so let's just say that it kind of ended up with like a. Stacking system? <gasps> oh no! Might be an easier way to put There's it. There's so many angles. Um. So when you're burying somebody in a village like this, and you're burying them close to your home, mm-hmm. there's not always markers. Okay. So you're possibly going into a spot that um has been, they've been very well deceased uh, and cleaned out down there for a while. So that so there there it's very very possible to turn up like bones. 
death masks, things like that have then absolutely come to the surface. And so that's just something that just happened. We're just like, oh, guess what? Somebody was already here. This would possibly have been from a few generations ago. So the call before you dig has a totally different meaning. Yeah, there's no gopher call here. <laughs> <laughs> Got Jake with that one. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, but I mean, like, there's like, I, I don't remember. Is this where grandma's buried? Or? Like, that would be like no markers. Why not? Like, yeah, that's interesting. Um, because, well, so that markers, is that part I mean, of it? Chi- there's, there's absolutely large funeral spaces and um, burial grounds for mm-hmm. Chinese uh, mm-hmm. cultures. But in some of the smaller vill- villages, it really was more about being um, buried close to home because the okay. living and the dead always live together. So there wasn't like So a when cemetery. you died in your village, you stayed in your village. Got it. Okay. Grandma's buried there. Grandpa's buried there. Uncle Tim is buried over there. Under yep. The just all right there in the line. So okay. everybody's just there near your home. That, cause huh. that's where they lived and that's where they died. So that's where they'll stay. That's interesting. I guess it makes sense for, I mean. And they stay. Uh, is that is that a prelude to your part? Well, there's he's going to fill in a lot of the gaps on this okay. one. Okay. Um, because yeah, there's extra yeah. stuff. Because, I mean, obviously remember that it, if you're somebody from a Western culture that's going into this, you don't necessarily know all of the customs. Yeah, yeah. So no, things could be even other people in their culture didn't understand. Oh yeah, a lot of people it's aren't very good, old because customs it's they yeah. Have. Well, and the other thing to also remember is that this is such a remote village that it was like, well, you know what? They started to kind of possibly, you know, have some of their own customs mm-hmm. that were really just, you know, for them. And they didn't realize that it's like a dialect. Oh, so like so these it was aren't their interpretation. If you were to take a feng shui person from somewhere else and bring them here, they'd be like, "No, we don't do that." Yeah, like, they're like, "What think, are you doing? Oh, That's okay. not it." Yeah, interesting. No, it's like having a Lutheran. That's Catholic what's so cool about learning lunch. another culture. Like yeah. we'll make our jokes and stuff like that. And, I, and obviously, I don't, we're not being insensitive. No, not at all. And if we are, please tell us. But um, like, but we're learning about it. But also like learning how just how different it is oh, than yeah. what we are. Like it's yeah. crazy. We're all on the same blue orb. But it's so different. Right. Well, because, you know, I mean, you know. ultimately, again, yeah, because there's different interpretations of stuff mm-hmm. when you're so remote like this. What you think you might know about yeah. the whole thing isn't necessarily how they practiced it. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Whew. The application can be different. Okay. <laughs> wow. Is that our whole history That's on this history. one? Heck yeah. Hey, Lisa. Yeah. Good job. Way Thank to you. go. But you want to know what else is great to go. I just booped her nose. Do you want to know what else boops noses? Game time! That's right. As promised in all of Haunted China, I'm going to be basically your tour guide through different cultural things of Chinese culture. Um, <laughs> we're going to stick with that. So what? today what? we're going to learn about something that is cultural also... Cultural things in Chinese culture. It's vastly different than our own culture, and that is going to be etiquette today is what oh. we're going to learn about. Oh. So. Etiquette is it's I, very I different. Do, I don't have etiquette anyway. So what I oh, did, no. honey, those are manners. <laughs> <laughs> I so wish I could argue. What I did was I found three websites. One of them teaching you what to do about the do's and don'ts or the etiquette of China. Okay. One of them about India, and the third one was a Chinese website for America. So oh. those are the three that we're gonna have. So to not go what through. we know, but what they. So think. I'm gonna oh, give you no. one so of their interpretation of etiquette in exactly. America. Exactly. <gasps> so I'm gonna give. Well, how you do you one. get attention by being as loud as possible? As loud as possible. While well, that's, wearing a hat. This that's just this podcast. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so I'm gonna give you the oh, etiquette no. that they talk about, the manner that they talk about, and you need to tell me if that's from China, India, or the uh, Chinese website about America. I might be in trouble for the this other one. two are American ones, just to kind of give you a little uh, okay yeah so going into indian and china this is the rules for americans going in there and then the america one is rules for china China. coming to exactly so the very first one address a person's seniority when it is relevant that is the first piece of etiquette address a person address a person's seniority when it is relevant Jake has his. Lisa has hers. India, Lisa says. Jake says, uh, America, you're both wrong. That was China? That is China. Yeah. Okay. They are very seniority driven. I know that is also something in Japan as well. But, yeah. So neither well, I just, that I, That was the when when needed or when. When it is That's relevant. That's what I was like. They're trying relevant. to. Cause, uh, because to them, seniority doesn't always just mean age. It also can mean like oh, in the business. So okay. it's talking about. That's why I thought America. Because... No, nope, I know. That's why right, I'm putting right, it in there. All, right, all, right, all, right, yeah. all right. Next one. Do not wear your shoes inside. What you got for that one? Lisa's got her answer. 
Jake has maybe his answer. You both say China. That is incorrect. That is India that they really? I got this one from. Am I I'm thinking not, so much? I might be thinking Japan, so much about Japan. Japan. Yep, yeah. China does not. They're not super big in that. And also to okay. say too, I may these may be crossover, but this is purely from these three websites that I got yes. them from. So keep that in mind so that I may be wrong What's on India's that. What's India's deal with care. shoes? They do, I, it's just not culturally okay to it's wear dusty. them inside. Next up, they gesture too often. So don't get too close. <laughs> yeah. I know I'm not America. I'm not going to be able to not laugh yeah. during a lot of these America says, ones. Says the, I love it. <laughs> that was just watch, watch YouTube videos of Lisa and you understand. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, don't stand too close. I love that I one love for that. you. Trust I could me, not laugh. my voice is not big enough to take up the space All that my arms this. can as well. I gesticulate a lot as well. <laughs> But the next one, do not offer too firm of a handshake. It is seen as a sign of aggression. Ooh. Which one do you think that is for? Jake's, I can't. Uh, yep, okay. You both say India. That is That's China. Correct. That is China. Correct. All right. This is good. Next up, present and receive things with both hands. Jake's got his answer. Oh, shoot. Lisa. You both are tied one to one, by the way, right now. You both say India. That's Incorrect. also China. That is also China. Oh, you guys this are not doing it. It's like the opposite well. of last week because you guys like both only got one wrong last so, week. Yeah, we, so, yeah, what was last week's again? It was food. food. So we get yeah. food. <laughs> America. So, next up, they have a joke, and this was on the website, so I'm not making this one up, that it is okay to piss in public, but not okay to uh, kiss in public. To piss, but it's not okay kiss. to piss in public, but not okay to kiss in public. So basically, they don't do PDA. You both say India. That is correct. Two to two. They I say think I've heard that as one. You hit your mic. <laughs> I Gesture. have a gesticulate presence. A what? I it was works. right. Gesticulate. <laughs> well, kind of. Um, we'll <laughs> stick with it. If a person from this country goes silent, you are in trouble. If a person <laughs> goes, oh shit. Um, well, <laughs> America, that is Fuck correct. Yeah. Three to three my right stare, now. <laughs> my stare at Dave is long enough, he starts giggling, and I'm like, yeah, uh, it definitely yeah. is. No wonder I make them uncomfortable. Next up, <laughs> do not interrupt. That is what this one is from. You both say China. That's incorrect. That That's America. What? That was one of their ones that said, do not interrupt. And I was like, our podcast would suck at American etiquette. So <laughs> I didn't know this rule. That was all it said is do not interrupt no matter what. Wait for them to speak. Top, stop speaking or they will be mad at you. But if we stop speaking, then they're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? What do we do? Oh, man. All right. Why would up, anyone come here? <laughs> do not pass objects with your left hand. You both say India. That is correct. Yeah, that that's is your unclean hand. Seen as unclean. You guys yeah. both got it. All right. Next up. Walk in a clockwise direction when visiting a temple or monastery in this country. Always walk in a clockwise direction. You both say China. That is correct. Is that five like a feng shui thing? To five. I honestly have no idea. And I looked up they whether it was. They literally do stuff at even department stores here. Yep. That's counterclockwise. Counterclockwise like in that way. Like if you way. go to Target, that's why they put the gro like the grocery areas right. You do they, always turn right when you go, which would be counterclockwise. Yeah, but I, I I looked it up to try and see if it was a certain belief. They just said every single one, no matter what Buddhist, Taoist, uh, Confucianist, anything. Okay. So always the next one, never write in red ink. For this country, never write in red ink. You both say America. That is incorrect. That is China. Okay. That is seen as being a like aggressive. Uh, not necessarily aggressive as much as it's like this is a warning. Like something uh, is wrong. You know, like when we have yellow piece yeah. of paper. Well, I, and that's what I said. America. Oh, that's why I said America. I said America. Red, red pen. Thing. Yeah. Red pen. But that's not saying don't. It's like the yellow paper yeah. would probably be more. Uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe I just saw that. way too much red on my homework. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, next up, you guys are tied five to five, and there are two questions left. All right, saying please and thank you too often can be viewed as insulting in this country. Oh, insulting or annoying? Insulting. Um, this was insulting, not annoying. If they said it insulting. If that helps you out. Lisa says India. Jake says China. Lisa's ahead six Crap! to five. Crap! They said that if you say please and thank you like more than once in a person's home, they won't like it. 
like you just say it once when you go in and that's it all i can say is minnesotans would be screwed we're screwed exactly and our final one which you're you're i'm lisa's gonna win because this one's hilarious if their haircut is ugly make your eyes bright and say cute <laughs> America that seven sucks. to six, and Lisa wins the <laughs> etiquette game. Jake won the food game. Lisa wins the etiquette game. <laughs> what does that oh. tell you? <laughs> Boy, but now oh, we have go. ourselves. You're so cute. <laughs> Jake, your Dutch boy haircut was cute. <laughs> I'm drinking whiskey. Oh, we, we made him choke, everybody. <laughs> but don't hard. choke, Jake, because I need your help with my etiquette rap. Yeah, because you're so cute. So we are going to do this in the style of Beastie Boys. So I've got a lot of do's and don'ts together. And I'm going to point. You guys have words on there. I'm going to point at you when they're coming at you. You'll be able to also tell when it's a do and a don't. And I'll tell you why. But Because you're going to say, do um, this, don't do well, this. Well, you'll be able to like tell apart from that. <laughs> So, we are going to do our rap now, yes, and right. here we go. Oh, you're planning a trip to China after learning about it all from T Trips P. Well, let's learn us some etiquette. When you hear this, it's a do. Follow these rules to help you through. These are what you want to learn. Don't snacks, listen to these, don't get burned. These are don'ts. Notice my gruff voice. Avoid these if you have a choice. choice. These can be tricky, but don't you fret. Nice voice, Davis has a do next set. Do give a handshake. They do like the best. Just as common in China as in the West. What? Address the senior person in the room first. That's the most important person on the list. First, don't bow. Try to hug first, they won't allow. Wow. Too firm a handshake? If you do this with fear, they might quake. Ni hao. A common greeting when with a friend. Not elders, though. They won't like you until the very end. And the most important thing is respect for their culture as much as you can. It's a good idea to keep yourself in check. check. Remember that we're all kin men. Learn from another culture can be hard. If you mess up, they'll give you some grace. Oh. Just take it from the sacred and bard. Learn it slow, it's not a race. Table manners are what comes next. A toast is something you should respect. Always join in when you see it done. Food is for sharing, sampling is fun. fun. Especially at banquets or formal occasion. But make sure you leave some for you when it's done. That honors your host's generosity. And tap twice on the table when you need to refill your tea. tea. Don't put seed on the bones of the rice bowl. Avoid this with your heart and soul. Oh. Put it in a tissue or into your hand. Or look at the others and don't see their plan. Yeah. With the same bowl, don't tap your chopsticks. Just do this in relationships you won't fix. fix. Also seek communal dish. Use the ladles. Don't be selfish. selfish. Gift giving. Don't be too eager to unwrap. Colored wrapping. Black or white worse than burlap. burlap. Blocks. Don't you dare give these to your host. Number four. That's associated with death the most. most. When you present a gift, use both your hands. If you do, they're the, they're the biggest fans. Man. Use both your hands to receive this well. They're going to think that you're super swell. Do refuse the gift at first, though. That's normal to do, but be pushy as you go. go. Gift a small item from your home country, like a perfume, candies, or even a mixed CD. CD. Don't worry, though. You're going to do great. Maybe. Stop it. <laughs> I messed up. <laughs> that was intense. Your glasses were so foggy. Because I was like messing up and I was like, gotta catch up. <laughs> Holy crap. I didn't crap. know that your See, no. eyebrows could like cause oh, haze in your it's glasses. It's because I don't have hair anymore. So like all the sweat I, goes to my eyebrows and pools there. I, I can't make fun of you. Because you're like for real making hard raps and you're doing oh. them 90%. I would say 90. I tried to have fun with no, it after You've done 100% <laughs> before. You've done 100% the last couple oh, times. Yeah. This was a solid 90%. She has 100% an effort. Which is still an A. <laughs> it's still an A. Oh, you're such a dick. You're 100 such a effort. dick. No, that was good. Yeah, I love from, the, from the one who couldn't get her words at oh, all. Oh, I didn't even. I, I forgot him. to point at you half the time. I, so. You didn't point at me either. I got him. Yeah. Yeah. No, Sometime. you didn't. <laughs> I know, I miss a lot. Oh, well. We were helpful. High five. Hey, everybody, if you're wondering, should I do this thing? It's kind of embarrassing. (laughs) Listen back to this episode and be like, damn, if Davis can be as embarrassing as that was, I can do that thing. I can do it. Also, listen back because if you follow attention, it's actually a lot of cool little... Uh, There's some good stuff in there that that you want to learn about. Uh, Like, for instance, it's like food is for sharing. Don't put your seed or your bones in your rice bowl. Like, that's a big one. If you heard me say it, Um, when you're using a communal dish, don't use your chopsticks. 
Um, stuff like that. You heard As me yell about had gift hot, giving. We had hot pot today, and we all were using our forks. <laughs> we're oh, diving yeah. into it. We definitely did not follow the rules yeah, of well. Chinese etiquette. Well, but... I don't know. I, I didn't look at Hannah and say, oh, cute. <laughs> she didn't have a haircut. No, nope, she did. She's just cute. <laughs> she's going oh. to giggle every time she says cute to someone now. Now, I for am. every single time. Forever. I know. I love that that was in there. If you're, look at him go, if you're oh, her cute. friend listening to this, so, she says your haircut's cute, be aware. To give you a little perspective, that list only had 15 things in it, and that was one of them. They chose to use one of their 15 on haircuts. <laughs> and I was like, what? Holy Some of them God. made sense. They were like, always give handshakes, greet everybody, like, don't be. Well, no, that's yeah. good. Like, the, some the, of them made sense. I, but, I do kind of get the uh, don't get near them because they're going to speak with their hands. I, just, I mean, yep. if, if culturally you're from a place that does not well, use your hands they, a lot to talk. Personal space as well is not as big a thing in India and China. So that was a big part of why they uh-huh. brought it in there because they're like, yeah, they're just like, back no, away a little bit. Yeah, back away a little bit because uh, they <laughs> do need talkers. their personal space. Exactly. Or else they're going to hit their microphone and you. So <laughs> have you ever hit anybody while gesticulating? Oh, God. Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Are you kidding me? I've knocked shit off of a table. Do you want to know what I've hit? She's elbowed my four-year-old nephew a couple times in the face. Oh, jeez. Well, he got close. Do you want to know what I've hit while gesticulating? <laughs> the scary stories. Jay, hit me up with them scary segways. Scary so, so dead funman village. Oh, I just thought you were ending up dead. <laughs> dead. This episode is dead. Dead. Just like Davis's rap okay. career. <laughs> <laughs> this place. <laughs> Again, better than I ever could. Uh, the place where Chinese supernatural stories seem to take place. Uh, Funman Village is originally called, well, strangely, Funman Village. See, okay, I saw this on so many articles that were translated from Chinese. Yes. Where they would say, Funman Village is originally known as Funman, Funman Village. Village. So keep in mind, with Chinese culture, and Chinese language, excuse oh, me. Oh, I know, it's probably that, reasoning. I just, I... Well, no, what I mean is that, like, at the inflection changes the word. But yes. you didn't probably get that inflection in what you're writing? Or reading, oh, no, so because right. it, was in, it was in English. I was trying... So oh, it's no, spelt exactly. the exact same. No, yeah. it, it, it would... It's just the... The word could be the same, but the inflection that they would yeah, use I know. would mean something I'm different. I'm just saying, yeah. which is why we have dead time. and ghost or mm-hmm. something like yeah, that. Exactly. So, uh, it, it, uh, the fundament is said to mean uh, only one can't, the only one who can't marry a daughter-in-law, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. women don't have children. So one of those, like, the, it's a closed door of the community, basically. Okay. That's what okay. That's what they went off. Of. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a quick example. I'm nowhere. I'm kind of stepping back for just yeah, no, a second. That's fine. But like a great example of that is they hate the number four, like I talked about in my thing. That's because the number four is like s, but the, the word for death is s. So that's why they hate the number four. Yeah. Just to give you an yeah. example. No, I'm no, sorry to I, jump I, in. No, I no, really no, I get it. It just made me giggle every time. Oh, yeah. Literally, no, I, I know. This thing is like, I know. And in English, it goes, Funman Village, originally named Funman, Funman Village. Village. Davis Steen, originally Davis Steen. <laughs> uh, so there's oh, said there'd be a lot of supernatural phenomena that happens in this place. Ooh. Uh, probably for reasons that we've already hit up on the history. Angles. Um, yeah. So, uh... So as for the village, they were all moved away. But uh, mysterious saying, uh, there's a lot of stuff in the internet that circulates about this village. Uh, you know, referring to the closed door that no one's mm-hmm. allowed in mm-hmm. or out. Um, in this village, men cannot marry daughters, all that stuff. Uh, so the main thing that has the most... Uh, men cannot marry their daughters? Yeah, cannot marry their daughters off. Oh, their daughters okay. off. Okay, oh, I was like, I, I don't meant- think that you should. I thought you meant incest. No, no. I was like, <laughs> Sorry, I was stating what I, I I was stating what I already did before, where it was like the 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 fundman basically means it's a closed door. They can't marry off their daughters. They can't have children. No, you were good. Lisa yeah, and I went no, the same place, it, which meant the re- listener probably went the same place. So we're glad we just yeah okay made sure. Well, <laughs> no incest here. Good. Keep Jesus it going. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the main uh, supposed urban legends or rumors about the area Ooh. Uh, is there's thing called uh, is it Tashi. T A I S H I. Taishi. 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 The Taishi. Taishi. I was going to say, isn't Chair. Tashi a spice? Uh, Thank you, a, Lisa, for that oh, great drop in. Could yeah. be a cereal, but that's Kashi. All right. Oh, um, there we go. I think that's actually what I was thinking there about. There we go. Go, Jake. <laughs> go, Jake. We're done. <laughs> Taishi's chair in the middle of an old house in the village. Uh, so it's this random chair that actually, <gasps> uh, when it's a, mysterious is the story behind it. It's a wooden armchair that supposedly sits there, and out of everything, it's completely covered with dust. This is immaculate. Okay. Not dirty what? at all. Um, and they have this rumor that if... Uh, okay, so feng shui-wise, all the houses are oriented uh, from east to west. Okay. Um, as they said, it says feng shui, local conditions, but there's only one house 
that is oriented north to south. And in the middle of this house is this chair. So they believe this chair, if you sit on it, that you will have a terrible accident <gasps> sometime very soon in the future. Oh, like, not on the sitting way down on the it. mountain? Yep, yeah, really. Said the people who sat in the armchair died of accidents. Oh. So it's like a it's a cursed item in the middle of this village. Uh, a lot of people believe it's evil and don't touch it kind of idea. I, and yeah. That's why the thing they say don't touch it, but yet somehow it's always clean. It's the only clean surface, not full of dust. Interesting. Huh. Okay, and um, it's made out of wood, you said? Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm going to keep hitting this tree angle, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another thing made of wood. Coffins. Mostly. Uh, so uh, there's a few outdoor enthusiasts. Yes. I, again, I saw same with Lisa. When I these translations, it's never they hikers. They were funny. They're outdoor enthusiasts. Yeah, they might not have the word hike. I, I don't it think that sense. they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's or possible. exhibitionists, uh, outdoor exhibitionists. Well, okay. I think that means something else. So uh, <laughs> that's a sex exhibitionist. <laughs> you're on. Uh, <laughs> you're on timeout. <laughs> <laughs> he is not wrong. You are on timeout now. Okay. Um, <laughs> so they found a coffin in the middle of a deserted house. Okay. Which we sh- talking about the history. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, maybe somebody bought one, but then they end up moving. end up having to move. Okay. But the weird part is they came back just a week later because they thought it was something creepy and they wanted to show other people. The coffin was gone. <gasps> so unless someone was keeping it there and picked it up right at that co- moment, coincidence. That's kind of strange. But this is a story that actually a lot of different things people ha- people have said that they've seen coffins around the village. And they'd be gone. All made like they would stay in a tent or they stay overnight, you know, hiking, and they'd come out the next day and all the, the coffin is gone. Okay. So, like, these coffins appear and disappear. They just are okay. moving coffins. That's a weird thing. From the tree they came, from whence they go back. So, this whole idea that people and <laughs> ghosts live in the same village, uh, it is because uh, of the, the, the burying, and basically, they people still, if you're hiking, they find bones in ditches <gasps> around the. Uh, the village. Oh, I suppose with all the burials. And all the, the burials and the, the, yeah. the, okay. the work okay. gets to- turned up or uh, the earth just kind of shifts or slides because of rain. We talked about a river that's webbing and flowing. Yep. So, yeah, very possible. So, okay. literally, you're walking the streets and in ditches, ah! there are human remains oh, still to this day. So, if that doesn't tell you that there might be ghosts who are trapped there forever, I don't know what else you need. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. That is... Uh, so... There's a one of the groups of explorers. Uh, I found this uh, kind of a fun story. Uh, the, this team of explorers decided to spend the night uh, at the village. Mm-hmm. Uh, they actually didn't know about the village until they came upon it, and they went, "Okay, well, maybe this is." They were, "Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a ghost village." Okay, well, at least we're going to be the only people here. Let's. We don't want to be Except in this. We don't want to be in the village because that's creepy. We're yes. going to do our tents on the outside of the village. Yeah, still creepy. Still creepy. Yeah. Um, but uh, it, they set the tents up in the open space in front of the village, kind of by the river area. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but during the night, uh, the group did not sleep well. Clearly. Uh, they vaguely said they saw figures opening the door of their tents and closing them quickly. <gasps> no. Yeah. Could Wait. you imagine that crap? Okay. So we say figures a lot. What is that? It's just like a human figure or did they not really have enough to tell? It's too dark. A, a shadowy figure <laughs> going up to your tent, opening the door and closing it quickly. I want to die. <laughs> Some heard sand on the roof, like they're throwing dirt or sand on the roof. <gasps> so you hear the sounds of some stuff being thrown at them. And, and others just... said that they actually saw these figures walking into the village after looking at the front of their tents. So you, you like literally they'd see someone quickly open up a corner of their tent and close it. <gasps> they get creeped out, but they're gonna go and see investigate who it is, and all they'd see is a figure quickly walking into the village. Okay, oh. okay. So, all right. Uh, so uh, one of these sick night hi- hikers' name was uh, oh my gosh, uh, Matreya M A I T R E Y A. That likely wouldn't be a Chinese. It could be my. Yeah, I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't know. But there. Uh, this yeah. doesn't sound like it was a place that a lot of Chinese people no, actually. Yeah, like, so it could be somebody from somewhere so else. I don't basically, know. I yeah. uh, when they were camping there, they had themselves a spooky experience. This was actually in a number of forums and a number of websites. They talked about the story because. Mm-hmm. Um, there is this rumor about a, a ghost hiker even <gasps> in the area, whether it's a villager or a hiker, mm-hmm. just because it's happening on the roads around now, the village. Jake, don't you mean ghost outdoor enthusiast? I do mean <laughs> okay, ghost outdoor you. enthusiast. Thank, thank you. Um, <laughs> but he recalled that in the middle of the night, he, knowing about the area, was like, I am going to scare, doing what I do, I'm going to scare the living 
shit out of my, oh my friends. Gosh, Don't I do have that. So many friends around. Oh. I would do that to him. I would do it I, in a heartbeat. I I feel for this guy. Come so on. he crept. <laughs> so he was going to scare him. Uh, he crept out like on a little uh, ledge right above him. Uh huh. And he's going to start like whispering their names in the dark at him. Okay. Uh, yeah. But as he's up there and he can see all his friends and he's about to whisper their names, he all of a sudden hears this really low voice behind <gasps> him whispering his name. No. Yes. To no! him. He got punked. Jake, I would do that to you. Oh. One hundred percent. Did he turn around? Uh yeah, no one's there. <gasps> Basically Except he the trees. He, he supposedly he made the quick way down the little ledge by pretty much and just jumping to it. Probably hurt himself, but was like all what right, nope, quickest way. <laughs> Probably made the quickest way of relieving his bowels as well. Oh. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He wore the brown pants. <laughs> so was this one of the people that they saw at night? Um, but they all woke up the next day and they had actually uh, the blood scratches, like those kind <gasps> of scratches that you have that actually have a little bit oh, of the red, yeah. like it's deep enough to have a little, at least a little draw blood, but it definitely like you could, broke like, skin. Like maybe just a little bit further you would have, yeah, I got you. Okay. Yep. Yep. <laughs> they all had scratches all over their bodies. Did they look like tree scratches? Yeah. I that, feel like there's a lot of branch whips. I'm sticking around with this theory, but keep going. Oh, you think it's the, trees. the tree? I think it's Are the haunted. trees. Yeah, tree beard. No one's thought together. about the ants. <laughs> you and ants. <laughs> Always the ants. All right. Uh, so last story I have, it was actually posted um, in July of 2016. I was on a, a forum. I had to dig. Like all of these Chinese locations when it comes yeah. to ghost stories, oh, yeah. I had to Dig hey, listeners, we're doing work for you. Yeah, this is for you. You, dig, you appreciate dig, me. Dig, also, this is for us too. This is on for me. <laughs> this is whole thing for me. Hey. Will you stop? <laughs> you're on time out right now. <laughs> I'm off. I timed it. Now you're on time out again. Oh, uh oh. Mm. You know, it's not on time out. Trees. Go Trees. ahead, Jake. Oh my god, <laughs> you're gonna be on time out very quick. Mm. <laughs> I don't think you can put him on time. No, I can't. Producer. <laughs> yep. Uh, he can just turn down my mic. So I'm going to tell the story before he does. <laughs> Hovering. So uh, this was a story from back in 1963. Uh, so Whoa. the village was uh, being used. Uh, it still would have been populated. So it's still alive it's populated. at this point. It's not there dead. was a lot of people there. But like I said, because of the traditions they have, which aren't always the normal tradition. It's a very old tradition this village still holds with the whole dead and living and stuff like that. It already had rumors of possibly having hauntings and just the whole the veil of dead and living being very close. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So this was posted by uh, 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 someone who said, okay, so he's like, okay, this is a story from my friend. I understand. Okay, <laughs> so, okay. So my friend Lee, his two friends, went to uh, Funman Village to do sketching and oil painting. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a very scenic area, so they were going to go out there and just- Get some art done. Their art. I like Art it. kids are going out there to do some projects. Art. Uh, they, vis- they visited because of the special building structures and the scenery around it. Uh, the day the three pals entered the village, coincidentally speaking, a household of three actually suddenly died of high fever that day. Hmm. Uh, they were just in time um, that they kind of walked in during uh, the, while their funeral ceremony was going on yeah. uh, of the unfortunate family. If It was custom in the village at that point where if, some, you, if you died, uh, they would throw the pillows mm-hmm. of the deceased villagers into the middle of the road. That front road, I don't know why. Supposedly that's I, a tradition. Yeah, I mean, um, we do our weird stuff. Unfortunately, Lee and his pals didn't know of that one. And so, like, <gasps> literally, they just kind of, like, scoot the pillows off the road. No. Oh, I don't think you're supposed to touch it. Don't touch it. it. Yeah, no, no, and no, as no, a, no. A little did they know their beginning of their nightmare was just beginning because yeah. of that little move. Yeah. So after the three companions had entered the village, they visited the headman, because I'm guessing all villages kind of had their mayor or mayor. the guy who- Yeah. It, yeah. It, it, we would say mayor. They they just had headman. Probably not I, elected in this situation. No, it was just yeah. like probably a, the village elder that has probably yeah. the most prominent. Yeah. Uh, to find a dwelling to stay. Because uh, there's no hotels in this village. Um, so they were asking if they had shelter somewhere they could just stay. Uh, since there was just, of course, one empty house. Uh, <gasps> was where it the, the, deceased, convenient. the deceased ah. family. Yep. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, got it. Whew. Yeah, where the deceased family just died. They can stay there. <gasps> um, Not a good idea. No, I don't think so. So even though the three of them were wary and kind of afraid of this idea, yep. um, they, they, they needed a place to stay. Um, so they and they don't want to really open their mouth and uh, insult this headman. I mean, who, who is j- giving them a free place to stay? Yeah, yeah. they don't want to. It's a, I guess it's a cultural thing. They really don't want to insult. Yeah, them. no, so, that's okay, fair. No, yeah, we'll take it. We're horrified of this, but yeah, thank you. Um, I can see it. But they uh, and they and they didn't want to insist on a different place. So they, okay, they took it. Uh, so having uh, 
said so the three of them did their fair share of uh, ha- did have their ghostly incidents in the house. Yeah. Uh, f- the first of the three of them would always hear children shouting for their mother. Uh, when and whenever they ventured out, they they no kids in the area. Okay, so okay, right away they started hearing this in the house. Yeah. Uh, other than that, all three uh, would have the same bad dream about uh, a ghost jumping into their bed. <gasps> oh. Uh, and on one morning, uh, the one of Lee's friends opened up the wardrobe to get his clothing made of wood, and he suddenly fainted after screaming. Uh, Lee quickly rushed to his friend's <laughs> room and found. His friend just fainted on the floor. Mm-hmm. When the mm-hmm. pal finally came to, he claimed to have seen a uh, ghostly face hiding behind his clothing. <gasps> that in is the legitimately like no. one of the scariest things to me. When I see those in movies, uh uh-uh. uh. No, 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 no. Worst part is that ghost face was the same face he saw in the nightmares that he had. Oh. Uh, so That's not good. The, Lee and the friend went back to kind of search through the wardrobe after that. They they didn't find anything, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, but then that very night, the friend started had a horrible fever himself. Mm, okay. No. And he started really like bad fever. Yeah. Being stuck yep. in the middle. Yeah. Uh, so two days later, so the guys, there everyone's two days later. Another uh, n- the other friend uh, dreamed of that ghostly face as well, and nope. he he woke up in horror. Uh, and then he heard the noises of water splashing out in the garden. Okay. So he's curious. So he uh, he opened his window and he saw a naked woman just bathing besides the well in the backyard. Oh, what? Very strange. And he, yeah. Like, that's even in their area. That was very strange. He's, she, she even saw her scoop up some water out of the well and splash it onto her body. And the young man just kind of couldn't believe what he was seeing. And then all of a sudden, like, <gasps> the woman just snapped and turned her head straight no. at him, ah! gave the man a little evil smile, no. and just jumped slash fell into the well. Oh, that's not where I thought that was going. Oh, no, I thought she was going to run at him. <laughs> that no, was the so un- scared. His reaction was, he didn't even know what to do <gasps> because he, he just what he saw and just nothing, nothing seemed to make sense. Um, And it was very ghostly and he didn't even hear splash when supposedly she okay. went into the well. So he woke up his uh, Lee and they decided and they went out to go check on it and they yeah. took out their torch lights and they went out there and they look down there and there's nothing in the well. No. They found the surface of the well water the was water. completely calm mm-hmm. as a mirror and the sides of the well were completely dry as well. Oh, so no splashback. And the, the scoop of the pails, they even went into the pail, completely dry. Mm-hmm. So no water was been disturbed. Mm-hmm. For- mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> so, but everyone kind of dismissed this as, you know, a 20 something year old man seeing a naked woman in his dream. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That's kind of where I went, where I was like, this oddly but has the most detail. Unfortunately, okay. the second friend here <laughs> also woke up the next morning with a horrible high fever. Okay, that's horrible. So I don't. Two now. But the thing is, like, even if you see good looking people in your dreams. Oh, we didn't say good looking. They're just a naked. Naked well, people in your dreams. Maybe that's all you need. But they don't. They don't turn to you, give an evil smile. That's what jump that's into a well, and then jump uh, into a well. <laughs> yeah, Lisa, you got some weird wet dreams, huh? <laughs> <laughs> she married me. Okay, so, uh, so he Lee's a little panicked. His two yeah. friends are doing really bad at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, and he was he kind of had the feeling he was going to dream about this ghostly face because he's he's heard all the stories from his friends. No, no, nope, nope. and he did have that dream. But not Just only leave. that, Lee also felt that he was kind of all of a sudden he felt short of breath and that he couldn't breathe during the dream. Like he could not breathe. Mm-hmm. He was choking. This thing in his dream was sitting there choking him. Mm-hmm. But as soon as Lee opened his eyes, he found out what was on top of him. It was one of his best, one of the friends. Oh. He woke up with one of his friends with their friend's hand around his neck <gasps> screaming, I will strangle you. Uh! And he wouldn't stop snoring. Luckily speaking, the other stop. friend uh heard the commotion and came mm-hmm. in and knocked the other guy. Oh completely my gosh, off that's him. So yeah. Terrible. Yeah. All all the and then when he came to he didn't remember <gasps> what he was doing. Oh yeah, no. Can, uh, th- so this is the friend that had the fever that did that. One to of him? the two, two of the friends. They both did. Yeah, I was gonna say they both had fever. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the three. They finally. So he came had there. a delusion. Oh. They finally came to consensus that there was some evil stuff going on yeah. in the house. So they yeah. quickly visited the village headman, and after listening to their ordeals, even the headman brought them uh, to the graves of the house and to perform a prayer. Okay. okay. Uh, soon after that prayer, three of them had uh, all of a sudden recover. Like they did the prayers and they recovered. Bam. Okay. Uh, they didn't, and they didn't have any more bad dreams while they Ooh. were there. Mm. 
All right. But after returning from their trip, Lee concluded that although the family of the three had died, their bodies have been buried in their. Ba- bodies were buried near the house perhaps it was their restless souls that uh, of the deceased that wanted to return home as it was a village custom that even the dead are buried within the compound of the village mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. thus making the livings uh kind of live amongst all the spirits like in that in the dead funman village if you are living you are living amongst, amongst the, the dead yeah oh um, Whoa, so nice, yeah nice turnaround further like. there's no Buddhist or Taoist statues in the village nope. to overpower so, those wandering spirits. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that's Funman Village. Okay. I'm going to say one thing that supports my theory. You, you imagine <laughs> this. A tree turns human for one day. What's it going to do? Splash Sing in water. Sing Pocahontas. Splash in water, and it's going to splash in water a lot. That's where the naked woman came from. No, that wasn't your... <laughs> That wasn't the show uh, stopping on your podcast oh. machine. That was literal <laughs> silence of what we hey, just heard. Hey, Jacob. Jacob. Hey, Jake. Good job, good job, though. I liked it. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's I know, called, real I know how to handle compliments. That's called hubris. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but you want to know what else is a good job? Trees. We love you, trees. Please don't hurt us. Uh, but secondly, <laughs> he's really concerned about trees. You're really trees. concerned about trees uh, now. The tree uprising seen, of 2022. Is it, is it I know. happening? Is that the one that's all about the trees did it? Yeah. The Mark Wahlberg like one? That. The plants are something. Yeah, the oh, is trees that what the are like so was? mad, so they like turn everybody into like killing each oh, other. Oh, sorry. That wasn't supposed to be a joke, was it's it? It's not a joke. It's a serious movie. Um, <laughs> but Quotations it's, on it's movie. Not. <laughs> but you want to know what else is a serious movie? Admin corner. You almost messed up. Your admin you almost corner. missed it. Guys, what were you gonna call it? The rap. I almost called it corner admin. Um, the, <laughs> the rap. The rap dies. really threw me through a loop today. <laughs> I practiced one a lot too, so I'm pissed. But at the same oh, time, you did great. It's part. No, I know. Uh, it's that's part right, of what, what it we're is. Doing. Exactly. That's why we're doing it live, Bill O'Reilly style. But you want to know what else we're doing it live, Bill O'Reilly style? Social media. Hey, We've got social, social media. media. We actually just recorded ourselves today, and we're gonna keep doing it, doing some like TikTok reactions. We're really trying to bring ourselves into like the paranormal, weird, strange, occult world and really be kind of like a guide into that on on top of a travel guide through all these places. So I'm going to keep I'm starting to like bring in. We've been having production meetings. We're talking about it. I'm slowly planting seeds. We absolutely can. (laughs) Um, And everybody can get a matching hat. Hats. I love hats. Um, (laughs) Production meeting hats. That's all I want is hats. I just distracted him. Exactly. But we have social (laughs) media. We've got Facebook. We've got Instagram. I've started tweeting for us a little bit um, and I'm going to start kind of doing like Twitter for us like that's trying to explain things through a paranormal lens even sometimes we'll see I don't know how that's going to (laughs) go but um, we have the TikTok series we have all these stuff on YouTube we'll put all of our TikTok stuff on YouTube as well if you're like I don't want to download that one TikTok thing it's like well YouTube you don't have to download TikTok's Um, fun it's okay it's definitely time suck Uh, (laughs) Um, but uh You want to know what it is in a time suck? Is rating and reviewing us. That's actually oh. very nice of you to do. It's so kind. Right? Helps us right? out. That's the number one way to help out It is podcast. the number one way. So the number a, two it's way. It's a minute task. Exactly. And the number two way, and I'm going to mention it on this episode, is Patreon, because mm-hmm. the Patreons got to choose this episode. Yes. So, But they did not get to choose our next episode, and this is going to be... <gasps> A doozy. Ooh, I don't yeah. know if you guys know what the most haunted place in China is, but that is what we are hitting up next. The number one on the list. Number one on the list um, for this time. I have one guess. What is what is your guess? guess? Hit me Jacob. up. Hit the me up. Forbidden City. The Forbidden <gasps> City in Nailed Beijing. It. This is oh, where we are going yeah. this time. I found Holy so many crap. stories on this one, historically and scarily. Oh yeah, there's a ton spookily. about it. There is so much on this one. Oh, so. Man. Keep that one going. I figured it out. This is that's going to be our fiftieth episode, and then we've got one more. If we do end up needing a little more for the Forbidden City, I have this this next one we can kind of skip through, and then we can go to to two Forbidden City ones. I'm gonna we'll, we'll, we'll let you, you know when we get. We'll keep. We'll figure it out as we out. go. So I'm a okay with it, but. Just a reminder that episode 52 is going to be our little <laughs> Danvers episode. Back to that a little bit. Have a little bit of fun. But regardless of that, Jake, there's one last thing I need from you, and that oh, is that? to own us out. Ooh. Well, as we all can agree upon completely, is that all my scary stories were true. Sure, that place is 100 percent haunted, right? With it's, trees, it's we're absolutely ha- a ghost city. Mm-hmm. We're having a we're having a vote. 
<laughs> such a dick. Good answer. So join Good us next answer. week as we continue to dive into the spooky world and try our best to entertain you and possibly make you giggle Ooh. as we Ooh. talk about a new place. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I don't have to You're do You're breaking a lot. in today. I'm not doing I much. I don't have to do a lot <laughs> You're at so all. You're so sassy. As we talk about a new place <laughs> that is without a doubt paranormal. Possibly. Maybe. Oh, on cut that the part <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> paranormal. Podcast from the tree we came from whence we shall return. What? Tree.